Hello there and welcome to the Card Grotto. Today I've got my monthly haul video to show you. These are items that I bought in the month of June. I have actually bought quite a lot this month, I didn't realise so. Um, it's going to take a little while to get through everything, so um, let's get started. So first of all, I had um, a really good response for my card comparison um, video and my blog post. And a couple of people have suggested some other card stocks that I might want to try. So um, first of all, I picked up the, um, the Kanban... Um, cardstock. Um, sorry, it's not going to fit in the, um, the video <laughs> here. Um, but um, I got five sheets of this. Um, I got it from eBay. Um, the seller was um, Happy Crafter, two thousand and eleven. Um, I just got five sheets of it because I'm not sure, obviously, whether I'm going to like it or not. Um, I don't know how easy it's going to be if I do decide I like it um, to get hold of it. But um, yeah, I just thought I would try that. Um, I then um, also got um, a recommendation to get the Joanna Sheen Elegant Satin Ice White. Um, again, sorry, I'm going to have to put this sideways because it's not going to fit in the frame otherwise. Um, I've been told some really good things about this. A couple of people have recommended it to me, so I'm going to give that a go. 20 sheets for um, 3 99 I think. Um, so not too bad a price. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, and also while I was at Joanna Sheen I got um, another one of the Wink of Stella um, Sig brushes. This is in violet. I really like the clear one that I've got so I thought I'd give the violet one a go. And as you get free shipping if you spend over £10, um, I just um, made up the price with these um, Queen & Co Twinkle Goosebump um, little stickers. Um, they're quite cute so um, I thought why not. Um, I then um, went to Cutting Edge Crafts. Um, while I was in London um, having some allergy testing, um, um, Marlu commented on one of my um, posts on Facebook about um, these really cute um, butterfly um, stamps. Um, so I'm really thankful for uh, Marlu for sending me the, the link and everything, telling me where they were, so thank you. Um, but they are the um, Doodlebug um, and Hampton Art um, Sizzix sets. So um, this is called Flutter Friends, so it's the Doodlebug um, stamps which are manufactured by Hampton Art. And then you get the Sizzix dies here at the top as well, so they coordinate with the sets. Um, really cute butterflies, I really like Doodlebug, um, so I'm excited to give those a go. And then um, I saw this um, baby boy set and I couldn't resist this um, giraffe here as well, so I had to get that one as well. Um, yeah, really cute. Um, I then... Um, went to um, the glitter pot, sorry, and I got a new craft knife um, because my doodlebug one has broken, unfortunately. Where you put in the blade, it's, um, it's just not holding the blade, basically. So um, I thought I'd try this X cut one. I then got some um, Paper Mania um, clear bags, these are the A6 belly bags. Um, I thought I'd, um, and, well basically I needed some more and I've used paper mania ones for quite a while so I thought I'd get those. I then also got told about the Craftwork Cards Ultra Smooth Cardstock. Um, I've tried Craftwork Cards Digital Cardstock um, before in the past, I didn't have that in my card comparison video but um, I really didn't like it at all so I was a bit reluctant to try this although a few people have said it's good. Um, so I thought I would try it out. Um, I got it from the Glitter Pot because there was no difference in price from Craftwork cards. Um, they don't sell it any cheaper and you have to get it in packs of 50 unfortunately. So it's not very good. Oh, I've got 50 sheets of more cardstock that I might not like. But let's hopefully I like it. Um, because I do actually like Craftwork cards um, card in general. Um, I do like it. Um, where else to go to next? I've got so much here. Um, I then got some of the Basil Card Shop cardstock. I actually got this two months ago and I forgot to put it in one of my other haul videos. Um, I got this from Crafty Charlie. They sell the set of 28 colours. Um, I can't remember how much it was, £10 or something, but very good price. Um, yeah, like I said, I've, I've, I bought this a couple of months ago. I really like their cardstock, the Basil Card Shop. Um, and I have actually bought some more from another um, place, which 
I'll, I'll get to in a minute. Um, so also at Crafty Charlie I got the um, enamel accents. Um, I'm really late to the party with this, um, I know, but I thought I would try it out. I then got some of the Studio Calico wood veneers. This is the Tiny Stars. And then I also got the um, the butterflies as well. And as you can see, I have um, broken into this packaging. I have used um, one or two, so um, I really like those. I then also got um, one of the new um, Doodlebug Design um, Hampton Art stamp sets. This is the clear um, stamp. It's called um, You Said You Said It. Um, they didn't have the names on the on the stamps for some reason. I've no idea why companies do that. It's really <laughs> annoying. Um, but anyway, um, I really like this one here, this happy birthday at the top there, and um, just really nice um, fonts in these sentiments here. And then, um, like I said, I've got some of that Basil Card Shop um, cardstock, and then I went to Crafts Boutique, um, and I got a bunch of... Um, let me just put it this way. I've got an absolute ton of the other... Basil card shop. So I got loads of the marshmallow, which is the white, and then this um, peanut cluster here, which is the kind of craft colour. And then I just got a few more of the other basic kind of colours. I am going to do another order from them, I think, and get um, some of the other um, colours and get a few sheets. Um, I really like it. It's really nice and thick. Um, and um, I've done a swatch here, there's just loads of colours, and I really, really do like them a lot. And I have all the paper tray ink. Um, cardstock, but actually, if I if I ran out, it wouldn't bother me at all at this moment in time because I really do like this cardstock. And then, um, what else have I got? I went to Dice to Die for, um, and I got um, two of the paper uh, Echo Park paper pads. Sorry, um, and I got the um, bundle of joy. Um, Dots and Stripe Girl, and I also got the boy collection. Um, I thankfully, um, as I'm part of the Dice to Die 4 do um, design team, um, Tracy kindly sends us some samples of things to use, um, and she did send me some of this um, paper from both pads, um, and I really, really love it. Um, I've been using it on all of pretty much all of my um, cards for Dice to Die for the last. Um, couple of weeks because I really do like it so and um, this is the girl collection and um, as you can see they're all double sided um, and there's dots and stripes basically and um, so you've got a darker pink and then a lighter pink here and then you've got a nice um, I don't really know how to describe it like a taupey kind of colour um, beigey kind of colour um, it's really nice though um, a green and um, kind of a aqua colour and a brown and then I also got the boy one. Um, so this is like an aqua turquoise kind of colour. I think it's just slightly darker than um, the one in the girl collection. There's a yellow, a green, blue, really pretty shade of blue actually. And then brown again. I then also got some more enamel dots. Because um, you know I need some more. I've only got <laughs> every single pack. <laughs> there already is, but never mind. Um, so I've got the Kate & Co um, Oxford Lane collection. I really wanted some white ones, so um, these are the white ones. And the only thing for me, I tend to use the smaller ones um, than the bigger ones here, which is a bit of a shame because... It would be nice if they sold like smaller ones on their own, but never mind. Um, and then I got um, the new kind of collection. This is Find Your Wings and Fly, and this is the Sky's the Limit collection. I really like aquas and turquoises at the moment, so they're really pretty. And then I also got the Up and Away collection. And again, I wanted some black ones, so I'm really glad I got some of those now. And then um, I got some of the um, MFT... Um, dies. So this is the Happy Hellos. As you can see, I have already used it on one of my design team cards. Um, I really like it, and I think you could use it for quite a lot of different um, cards. And then I got the Blissful Butterflies. Um, a really lovely set. Um, really beautiful. Um, I have um, played around with it. I haven't actually made a card with it yet, but um, really nice. I really like the sentiments, the fonts on them, and obviously the butterflies themselves. And then um, the die set to match, which as you can see I have uh, pulled apart. Um, and then last but not least, I have been to Simon Says Stamp. This actually was the first order I made in June. Um, so I have had these things for quite a while. Um, but I got some of the new um, ink pads. 
Um, so this is the Hero Art Shadow Ink and this is Mint Julep. Really, really pretty colour. I got the Soft Sky. Um, I don't know if this is a new one or it's just one I didn't have, but again, really pretty. Um, nice um, light blue there. And then another one of the new ones, which is Fresh Peach. Again, really lovely colour. I also got um, the new Happy Set. Um, I really like this. Again, I've used it already. Um, these little fonts at the side, they're quite small, but um, I really like them. I love the font in them. And then you've got all the different happies to go with it. And then um, I also got the the die to match. Um, and I have used this again on a card. And then last but not least, oh no, actually I have got one other thing after this, sorry. Um, I got some of the Cool Tack Foam. Um, I saw Christina Warner use it in one of her... Um, videos and um, although she had it on a roll um to use with vellum um and it came and then I thought why did I order this because these um stick it transparent adhesive squares are basically almost the same thing obviously this is smaller but these come in a smaller size I'll have to see if it um they really do make any difference um I'm not sure um, it might just be me being silly, but for some reason I thought they were different. And anyway, last but not least, which is actually one of my favourite things I bought, and it's the post-it um, adhesive roll. This is what it looks like. Um, a bit strange, maybe. <laughs> um, but it's the um, post-it full adhesive roll. Um, it's basically like a post-it note. The bit that you get on the top of the post-it note, which is the sticky part, this is what it is. It's basically... Um, a roll of that sticky stuff so um, you can rip it off from the dispenser here and then this is sticky but it's really low tack sticky so it doesn't get stuck on any of your cardstock or rip any of it or anything like that um, it comes in different colours I think in um, green and pink I think but I just wanted the white um, and I've been using it all month um, with my dies putting it through my um, die cutting machine and everything um, I did use washi tape before but um, I really like this. I don't know how long it's going to last. Um, I think there's 11 yards on the roll. I have no long, um, no idea how long that is. So, <laughs> um, But anyway, I really actually really like it. So that was my rather large haul for the month of June. Um, I do have a paper tray ink haul coming. Technically, I bought it in the month of June, but it's still in customs. So I don't know whether I will still receive it in June or not. Um, but otherwise, um, I'll show you that soon. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry this is such a long video and I bought tons of stuff. So, um, oh, never mind. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.